You're watching Local 10 Sports with Will Manso. Well, the show on the road today here in Boca Raton, home of FAU, one of the best teams in college basketball. That's right, 22-2. and two. It's been a great story to watch, including one of the longest winning streaks you've heard of in a long time, 20 straight wins. Our Clay Ferrer was on campus yesterday to find out a little bit more about what's made the Owls so good. My first day on campus, I just remember being excited because I was actually just in college and... Not a lot of people like go to college where I'm from. Growing up in Lauder Hill, Michael Forrest knew that the game he loved could also be his key to a better life. A lot of my friends like didn't go to college. They just started working just to support their family. So I knew every day I could just come in and hoop and just play basketball. His attitude and of course his game made Michael the first recruiting target for Dusty May when he took over as Al's head coach in March of 2018. He was actually my first phone call after I finished my press conference. And so I called him and, and asked him if he was wanted to come over and, and check things out and he said I don't know maybe and so I was a little bit discouraged but we stayed with it. I, was, I wasn't even like focused on it I was more focused on just playing hooping with my friends. After that he had called he had called me another day and um, that's when we had like a more like serious conversation about everything. One men's NCAA tournament banner currently hangs in FAU's arena. Getting back to the big dance and adding one more banner would be the perfect end to Michael's FAU basketball journey. Man, that would be a dream come true. Just knowing that like when I first came in, that was really like the goal. So just for everything to actually come true, like that would be amazing. In Boca Raton, Clay Ferrero, Local 10 News. Clay, thanks so much for bringing back out live. There is Michael getting ready right now for tonight's game against Rice. And what a great story. The commitment he's shown over his five years. Work his way through the ups and downs of this program with, that, with Dusty May leading the way. And now a team that was in the top 20, right outside of the top 25 right now. But again, 22-2. and two. And here's a great capper to the story when it comes to Mike. He is set to graduate in May to get his degree. And Calvin Nicole, a young man who says that a lot of people from the area he grew up in, Lauder yes. Hill, did not just get the college, didn't have the opportunity to get a degree. So it's special for him to do that. And as Clay mentioned, to do that in a season where his team could be headed to the NCAA tournament. Isn't that great to hear? You know, student athletes, we don't say that enough. Student before the athlete. And it's so great to hear he's going to be graduating. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs>